Remember when I said I would make some DACA for this tower? You probably thought I meant something like this. But no, I was thinking more along these lines. I had quite the collection of bits assembled from the tower build, and I decided to go with a big custom shock weapon. I used some plastic chest pawns to make Tesla coil style electric rods. If you haven't seen the original tower build yet, I will leave a card on the screen for that. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any in the future. I used a combination of electric cable, hair elastics, and steel wire to make a masked bundle of cables wrapped around the barrel. The pin vise came in very handy for setting up all the cable and wiring holes. I've got some links in the description for this hand drill as well as my other common supplies. Purchasing through these links helps to support the channel. This metal bracket made a good mounting apparatus. The inside of an old pair of headphones had surprisingly good detail, so that was used to make the back of the weapon. Sometimes I need to edit some of my previous work by clipping away extra plastic, and even using the hot glue gun tip to melt away material. I was able to use a lot of interesting components from an old VCR here. These plastic pieces wrapped in wire were just perfect for the top of the weapon. I used the air hose to quickly set up the hot glue. This plastic weapon toy provided some cool detailed inner machinery. I made a control panel with this model car interior. Then I made a little chair. I stuck these model car doors to a handle so I could easily add rivet detail and damage the surface. More panels were made from board game cardstock and foam sheets. I built up a turret mount using various plastic lids and of course, mega blocks. There are some very glossy surfaces on these type of lids, so they need to be sanded or filed down. This also contributes to later weathering, so two birds, one stone. Using the classic Scratch Bash Mega Blocks metal panel and some non-oats cardstock, I built up the boxy armor at the base of the turret.
Here I actually slightly measure out where the cannon will sit in. There's a first for everything. Ew, look at all these gaps. Time for a liberal course of spackling. The spackle can be used to add some interesting surface detail to flat panels. This doesn't quite look like a cast metal piece, but I still think Uncle Nice Shift would be proud. Maybe we should smooth this down a bit. Vroom vroom. More sunken rivet holes set up using my trusty pin vise drill. And then using a combination of small jewel stickers and glass beads, I set on a bunch of raised bolts and rivets. Then I add in this small stepladder using steel wire. Look at this cool metal rod, also a find in that old VCR. Okay, time to prime white, and then brown. Well, that was easy. Have you ever seen me paint before? Fair disclosure, I'm not the best painter, and I do the same thing every time. Rough overbrush of silver onto the brown base. Add brown, and then brush the brown silver over the lower half of some areas. Then a light dry brush of silver on the raised areas. Maybe I will make a big batch of custom wash. Nope, maybe just enough for this project, but I will use a very big bottle. Time to add the colored paint. I make up my own custom red paint using craft store acrylics, mostly dark red with a little bit of brown and orange added in just to mute the color a bit. And then I use some thinner just so that we can apply it in a nice semi-translucent layer. I add a little bit more orange into the red mix so I can highlight the top of each panel. Then I add in some brown to bring it down to a darker, more muted red and use that to add a bit of color modulation. I do the same thing for the black panels, but the craft store black isn't quite dark enough, so let's add in a little bit of black ink as well. Then I make an off-white and paint up some details in the same fashion working up not quite to the edge to keep that exposed metal. After that, I pick out various cables with blue and green. I make a dark brown wash to cover the lower half of the white details and also add a general layer of aging. I mix up a rusty weathering wash and apply it liberally. And zip zap, the shock cannon is done. I hope you enjoyed the build. Please leave me a comment and share this video. If you are new here and you liked what you saw, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Remember to turn on notifications and I will see you in my next epic build video.